Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband episode 57. Due to Webtoon's new policy for 2023, I do have the blur 50% of this episode with the cat logo and other blurs. So if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who want to support me for all my reads and early access and also um, not deal with censorship or blurs, they're all available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> Every time. <sighs> the bridge. If I remember correctly, last episode, there was a ring. Mm. Did you have a good nap? Your birthday isn't over yet. Oh. I didn't know I fell asleep. <laughs> Um, where are we? Busan, since today is a special day. I wanted to take you somewhere special for the briefing I prepared. Marry my husband, episode 57. You prepared a briefing? Uh, here. The first Envelope contains my UNK shares. I hold 15% of all company shares. This envelope contains a deed of transfer of a building in Sa Samsung Dong, which was given to me by my grandfather. This one has the sale rights for the apartments I bought in Jamsil and Bundage. Bundang? And, uh, 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 hold on. Are you planning to offer me all of those things? In exchange for my hand in marriage? Uh, if you still say no after hearing my terms, uh, then I won't bring it up again. This is a memor memorandum. First, whatever you decide to do after marriage, be it starting a business, working, or going back to school, I will wholeheartedly support you. Go on. This is so weird. That's a lot of stuff. I will take care of all household chores. 200% confident. Since I'm better at them and I like doing them. And finally, I will try, I will always try my best to make you happy, Jiwon. He's, he, he's actually proposing to me. Uh, I, I need to open the window. Uh, is it too hot? I turned the heater on. You said you'd try to make me happy? Instead of promising to make me happy? Why is that? Because everyone has different things that makes them happy. I'm sure that not everything I do will bring you joy. If that happens, just let me know and I'll make adjustments. But I want you to know that even if you tell me to die, I will gladly pretend to do it. Everything will be okay. You'll be, you'll get back on your feet in no time and make lots of money too. And you'll meet a man who is head over heels for you. So this is why my dad chose you. I don't know when a person say something like that, like, oh, if you tell me to go die, you know, I'll do or pretend to do it. This is what he said, but people, some people will be like, I will die. You know, if you tell me to jump off a cliff, I will jump off a cliff. That's a little bit too much. <laughs> That's a little insane for me. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. Like, so side note for me was when my ex would be like threatened to unalive himself if I leave him and you know I left him and he's still alive you know so but some people would use that to threaten you so you'll be submissive and stay with them but here it's like a romantic gesture so I guess that is sweet but to me that kind of kicked on my PTSD you know of all the manip manipulative stuff that my ex did. Anyways, back to the story. <laughs> and why would you do that? Because I know that you would be sad if I actually died. Because his love for me is so great. 
Jiwon Kang, will you marry me? Oh my gosh, a scenery. As you already know, I've decided not to, I decided not to get married in this lifetime. I know, and I understand. He drove for hours and brought me to a special place in order to propose to me. Although he wasn't the most eloquent speaker, he explained to me the kind of marriage he envisions. But I also love you very much and want to spend the rest of my life with you. I think that I'd have a happy and fulfilling life with this man. So, Jiyuk, for now, would you like to move in with me? Uh, Dad, I promise to live a happy life. Oh, please watch me from heaven. Jiyuk! Why do you... Why did you get here so early? Did I keep you waiting? It's all right. I was just trying to see what was going on over there. Huh? Is Blue Cafe closing up shop? Uh, you didn't know about this either? Apparently, Mr. Bake quit his job at the cafe. Do you know how Huyun is doing? Why are you, why are you suddenly asking about Huyun? Well, since she likes him and... He's suddenly gone, I thought she'd be... What? You mean Hyun likes Yoon-ho? <gasps> you didn't know? I had no idea. I just thought she likes his desserts. How did you find out, ji -yuk? By observing her behavior. Are you telling me that I wasn't as observant as you? Dun -dun. <laughs> uh... Wait, come to think of it, Bray's short ribs were on the menu today. <gasps> but Hugh, you skipped lunch. That's pretty serious. Oh. First, I'll ask Yunho know what you know what happened. And can you give me a ride to Hugh Yoon's place? Ding dong, ding dong. Huh? huh? Miss Kane? What are you doing here? Yunho's leaving for Switzerland tomorrow. Huh? Whoa, you scared me! I already knew that. But so what? It has nothing to do with me. His flight is 7.30 in the morning. You should take the morning off and go to the airport. <laughs> Why would I do that? We're not that close. He's not sure when he'll be back. He could be gone for years, not just a couple of months. What does that have to do with me? I guess he might bring back some Swiss chocolate when he decides to visit. Hyun, if this isn't a big deal to you, then why are you crying? Oh, <laughs> her face. She couldn't hold it in the sadness. He doesn't care about me at all. I don't care about him either. <laughs> He's so old fashioned. If Yunho doesn't care about you and you don't like Yunho, then why did he set aside a pudding every day? And why did you go eat it? Yes, you must be hungry from working late, Huyun. There was another leftover pudding today. Those were for you. No, I'm sure Yunho knew I wasn't coming. And yet he made those desserts every day for you. You're not my replacement, Hyun. You're just you. <laughs> Do you like cappuccino pudding? Me? No, I hate cappuccino. Anyway, you really should go to the airport tomorrow. I don't want to see you regret your decisions later. I love cappuccino. There you are! Mr. Bake! 
Hee Yoon, what are you doing here? I took the morning off because I wanted to ask you something. All those sweets I ate, were they all reserved for, for Miss Kang? Uh, fine. Still, since I don't know when you'll be back, I want to hear this. I like you, Yoon Ho Bake. Oh, uh, whew. I feel so much better. Have you calmed down a bit? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you don't have to be sorry. I'm actually... I'm sorry in advance for what I'm about to ask you. <sighs> can you wait for me? Until I can make desserts just for you? What? Do you mean by that? At some point, I realize that I think of you whenever I'm baking. And I'm... Imagining you enjoying the sweets I make always brought a smile to my face. Then those desserts you set aside. But if Jiwon had come to the cafe and said she was hungry, I would have offered it to her. Knowing how disappointed you'd be later on. Which means I haven't yet completely moved on from Jiwon. Nor am I ready to open my heart up to you. Oh my god, she has an icicle out her nose. <laughs> Are you crying? No, I'm just cold. If you find someone better, then by all means, go to him. But if you don't find someone like that, when I come back, ready to open my heart to you, I'll ask you to be my girlfriend. I'm going to reject you. Can I ask you out again after you turn me down? You'd better. <laughs> I might find someone else. So promise me. You'll come back before this hair tie breaks. Okay. I promise to be back. Huh? <gasps> It's the first snowfall of the year. <sighs> wow. Mm. Oh. The final episode of Marry My Husband will be uploaded next week. Final episode? 